Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This episode, I'll introduce three new characters, as far as I know. A hero, a villain, and an anti-hero, as far as I can recall. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, because if, just in case you haven't seen the last video that I've made, I am trying my best to make things worth it for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Let me continue. Here's the first character, just so you know. Flat. Real name, Dana Lee. Height, 5 feet 9 inches. Weight, 152 pounds. Status, anti-hero and Universal Misfits member. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Sneaky and creative. She always knows what to become. Lethality. Depends on the problem. Weaknesses. She hates it when others use her powers as a weakness. Powers. She could turn herself flatter than a sheet of paper. She can fold herself into anything she can think of. She could also wrap herself around most opponents, leaving them immobile. Eyes, light green. Hair, light black. Origin. Dana Lee was a young woman who, since childhood, wanted to be a professional cartoonist and asked Tyranitar to help her improve. During the procedure, Dana was sedated with sleep gas, injected with special chemicals, and placed in a metal press, thus granting her the power to become flat. Dana was then persuaded by Tyranitar that she could do anything she wants, giving her enough pride to start running rampant across New York. Fortunately, Flat was defeated by the team-up of Elastic and Claygirl, who placed her into an immobile position. Since then, the experience made Flat become friends with Elastic and Clay Girl, and eventually became a new member of the Universal Misfits hero team, where she would try not to lose her self-control. Costume. She wears a white latex suit that morphs with her. Teams, solitary, with the Universal Misfits or other heroes. Original inspiration, DC's Folding Man. Here's the next character. You know, I hope you enjoyed the previous one. I hope you enjoyed this one. You know how it is. Flame. Real name, Ashley Burns. Height, 5 feet 11 and a half inches. Weight, 163 pounds. Status, villain, and LAV member. Base, Alpha Earth, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Murderous and relentless. She's an extreme arsonist. Lethality. Highly lethal. Pyrophobes beware. Weaknesses. She's easily carried away. She has no healing factor. Powers. She has the same powers as Ignitia, but with green flames instead of more natural colors. Eyes, lot green. Hair, deep green. Origin. Ashley Burns was a young girl who had a bad habit of committing arson. One day, Ashley was thrown into prison until being transported by Olga to develop some pyrokinesis. For her first mission, Flame was meant to kill the President X-Ray by burning him alive. However, Ignitia, Target, and Becky Blood arrived to save X-Ray, and after a time of fighting, Flame was finally overwhelmed by the heroes. Despite her loss, Olga had forgiven her and Flame was since marked as a notable member of the Legion of Alpha Villains, alongside other villains. Costume. She wears a green, fireproof latex suit. Teams. Solitary, with the LAV and other villains. Or inspiration, Dark Horse's Liz Sherman. This is the last character, or characters, if you think about it. Duo. Real name, Carrie and Mary Bonds. Height, 6 feet 2 inches for each. Weight, 202 pounds for each. Status, hero, and expert secret agents. Base, Alpha Earth, mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains for each. Behavior, cunning, sneaky, and willful. They never worry about any problem that comes in their way. Lethality, 
They are literally a two-for-one special. Weaknesses. No healing factor, being rivaled, and lack of privacy. Powers. They are conjoined at the waist. They possess some martial arts skills, high agility, and are skilled with all firearms. They also share a stomach, making their fusion lifelong. Eyes grayish green, hair brownish red. Brownish red. Origin. Carrie and Mary Bonds were a pair of identical conjoined twin sisters who, since they were toddlers, had enjoyed secret agent and spy movies. By adulthood, they got their dreams fulfilled when they became secret agents thanks to the Master. One time, Dua was hired to defeat Breath when she attempted to kill the mayor of Chicago in the Alpha Earth, and they eventually saved the mayor's life. Since then, Carrie and Mary were marked as great heroes and soon became members of the Universal Misfits. Costume. They both wear grayish-black leather jumpsuits. Teams. Solitary with the human Universal Misfits or other heroes, or inspiration, conjoined twins, and agents. Well, I hope you enjoyed those three, but technically four characters and such. It's a bonus, and uh, recently I've been trying to get some directives from a YouTuber who calls himself Draw Like a Sir, and thanks to my uh, one of my staff, Anthony, I have to figure out how to make my illustrations more adequate in the future, like this, for example, is things I have to figure out in terms of how to do it as efficiently as possible. You know? And this is what I've been able to perform so far in terms of adequacy. And also here, when I tried my best to make li like facial features, how to make the torsos and the hands and feet. And in your opinion, which pair of feet do you guys prefer more? The pair on the right or the pair on the left? I just like to hear your perspective, you know? Because I'd like to do some like success like how there's this AI picture of Madame Shear that I was able to make only because I had help from my Uncle Dan, thanks to him, you know. And I will be showing you that on this video, uh, like literally as I'm talking, and I'll, I just want to be as close to that scale level as I can, because I need to make things work, I need to improve. And I hope you guys understand. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. Hope you had a decent Halloween yesterday, and I hope you guys would have a decent Thanksgiving this year, in this month. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your time, and until next time, in transmission.